Google has a really nice web browser, but how many of you knew that Google has an OS? Well, we're going to look at it today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. This uh, surprisingly took a little while to load up here. But then again, I'm using a virtual machine. I have a bunch of resources running, but we have it up and running here. This is Google Chrome. And the first thing you see once the operating system loads up is Google Chrome opens, and it gives you a number of options. You can go to your Gmail account, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, Google Calendar, Google Reader, Google Docs. Uh, you can visit YouTube and watch more Spatry's Cup of Linux, of course. Picasso Web, MySpace, Last FM, Pandora Radio. If you love radio, that's definitely the one to hit. You have Contacts, Calculator, To-Do List, Calendar Panel, Angry Birds, Books, Chess, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter, and you can get more to add to this front page. Well, Google Chrome, the web browser, doesn't require much introduction. Many of you use it already. I don't. I prefer Firefox. Let's go ahead and uh, minimize this now, and let's have a look and see what kind of options that we can do with this thing. Okay, if we right-click on our desktop, we can uh, select to change our desktop background, change some themes. Let's have a look at this and see what we got. All right, not much in terms of wallpapers and that sort of thing. The default wallpaper is fine. Uh, let me see what kind of themes they included with this. Hmm, I think I like. I think the clear locks would probably fit with this a little bit better. And it does. It actually looks a little bit better like that. But there are a number of themes that you can choose from. Not a whole lot. It, it is pretty lightweight. This all fits on a CD. And if we right click on our panel, you will see that this is powered by Genome 2.32. So if you wanted to install this on your hard drive, you would be able to download Compiz and do some really cool desktop special effects with this thing. All right, and this is based on uh, SUSE Studio, so this will, does use RPM packaging. Okay, and we'll have a look at the applications this comes with. You click More Applications, a friendly little window opens up showing you everything that you get with this. You get G-Edit, Text Editor, Genome Terminal, OpenJDK Policy Tool for your Java, QT4 Settings, Tomboy Notes, Wine File. It even has uh, Wine mine install which is a clone of windows minesweeper and it's uh, running under wine of course uh, you get cheese webcam booth you get the gimp the libra office draw picasa picasa font settings uh, of course you get google chrome pigeon libra office a sound recorder, the Totem movie player. I use that mostly on my system. Even though I have VLC installed, I still like Totem. All right, and then you have the file browser, uh, Genome System Monitor, Midnight Commander, Xterm, and then, of course, you have a number of configurations for Wine. Okay, now let's say some smart aleck like me downloads Google Chrome and decides we want to use Firefox. Let's see if we can do that. We'll go ahead and close this up, and we will open up yet another setup tool. It's right here under system, and let's see if it's in there. And the password is root on this because we're using a virtual machine, and we haven't gotten this thing installed here. So let's have a quick look and see if we can get Firefox. We'll uh, do a search for it. can get firewall. <laughs> uh, let's see here. There's some software repositories. Let's have a look at this. Or is this something we have to install first? Okay, and it looks like this. Okay, it looks like we have the OpenSUSE repositories and that sort of thing. So I would imagine once you install these repositories, you can probably get just about any software that is available from uh, OpenSUSE. So that's always a good thing.
All right, and just taking a quick look at everything, this looks like a competent operating system, something that would be very nice for you to use. Also, if you're having a guest come over to your home and you don't want them surfing the internet on your operating system, you could pop this live CD in and let them surf to their heart's content knowing that your computer is safe because this operating system is a live CD and immune to Windows viruses. It looks very good. It looks straightforward and fairly easy to use. Even a beginner could uh, have fun with this one. And uh, so good job, Google. All right. Well, if you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. I've got a lot of goodies coming up. Uh, this weekend. Uh, my weekend runs Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so I have got a ton of episodes heading your way, and keep those suggestions coming in. I'll do my best to fill them and answer your questions to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.